of Vacation Bible School Crafts. Thank you for joining me for our last day. Today let's go over your supplies first and then we'll talk about what we're making. You're going to need four sheets of construction paper or colored paper. You could also use scrapbook paper if you have that on hand. Either glue or tape. Um, you could also use a glue stick. Works great for this craft. A pencil, scissors, and a ruler. Let's get started. Our final craft is going to be a placemat. Once you put all four crafts together this week, what it will make is a place setting for the table. Normally on the last day of Vacation Bible School, we would all sit together for a meal at the end of the week. Since we're not able to do this together, this way we can still be together when we have our final meal tonight. So let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is pick out your construction paper. You do not have to use all four sheets. You can just use two, three, or four. It's up to you. In my example, I used three. I used one for one way and then two colors for the other, but it's totally up to you. Before we get started, I'm gonna talk about one quick modification for our younger um, participants. Parents, you'll wanna help with this. Instead of cutting individual strips like I'm about to show you, what you would do is take one sheet of paper and draw lines. You would draw these in pencil and draw the lines like this, leaving about an inch where the line isn't. And then have the children cut from this point to this point for each line. It just makes it a little bit easier when manipulating the paper strips. Um, but that's totally optional that you can attempt the other way I'm about to show. But just wanted to put this out here um, as an easier way to do this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start by taking your sheets of paper, your ruler, your pencil, and your scissors. And you're going to start by taking your paper, going the long way. If you do it the long way, your placemat will end up being a square. And you're just going to draw lines. They don't have to be the same width. You can make them all different widths, some fat, some skinny, but they do need to be straight. And you will just draw a bunch of lines and then you will take your scissors and you will cut each strip out along that line until you end up with strips for all your pieces of paper. You're going to then want to lay out which strips you want to go one direction. So for my example, I'm going to do a pattern of purple and blue going this way. And it's a good idea to take one of your other strips, so in this case I'll use pink, and just lay it next to you. This will help because it lets you know how many strips you'll need. And you do not need to lay your strips right next to it, right on top of each other. You can leave a little space in between. Boom. That will work. So we can set our purple and blues aside, and then we can pick up our other ones. Now the first one or two will be tricky, but after that, uh, this will flow, this will get a lot easier. So just so you're going to dis, you're going to start by putting the pink on top of all of the blue ones. So you can in this case because it's your first um, or first column, you can just basically pick up the uh, ones. You don't want to scoot them too close together and you don't want to be too close to the edge either or your strips will not stay put. And you can just kind of scoot them down, put it on top. Put it on top. All right, then we'll take our next strip. In this case, I'm gonna use a green. And so now we're gonna to wanna to put our green strip under the blues and on top of the purples. And you'll do this by starting over here on this end 
and you will just slide. Ooh, I put two down there. Hmm. Um, and you, then you'll just kind of lift it up gently. Make sure you don't get your strips down here out of order. And then you'll hold this end and you'll just kind of slide them down. And you'll notice if they're too close together, then it causes kind of a, yeah. Just kind of scooch and scooch, holding, scooch, and then you can, and then you can always pull these through if they get, um, out of whack and it just doop, doop, doop. And then you'll just continue on making this pattern. And as you go, things will start to tighten up a bit. So it won't feel so loosey goosey. Okay, once you have all your ends woven in, you'll just want to go back and kind of straighten everything out. Make sure that you have enough hanging over on all your ends. And then you can take your glue and just lift up. Now you're going to want to make sure that you do, so you'll lift up the sides that are up right now. And just put a little dot, put a little dot, put a little dot, put a little dot. Put a little dot and go all the way around and then flip over and do the other side to get the strips that you did not get beforehand. Now you will have enough materials to actually make two. As you can see, I cut out all four sheets of pieces of paper um, for my strips and I still have this many left over. So you can actually make two. And if you have more than one uh, child participating, you can mix and match, have a lot of fun with this, um, and then make your placemat. And I cannot wait to see all the projects that everybody has shared with us this, or has made this week. Um, thank you for sharing this time with us. And I hope that everybody enjoyed themselves. Have a nice day.